All right, guys, a little bit of a foggy day, but we're out here doing a little tree work. Uh, I have the mini skid set up here with a winching system. And so I sort of customized the system to work with my trailer mover attachment that I fabricated. And so all I did was buy a cheap Harbor Freight winch and weld it to a receiver on the bottom. It came with this plate on the bottom here that, that the winch bolted into. And then I welded that plate onto uh, this hitch receiver and you know just use it like a standard trailer hitch there so I could you know even use it with my truck if I really wanted to uh, but this skid system will be nice I also put this shackle on the front here as well uh, so you know you can always bring it back and hook it to the shackle or you know I could even bring it back and hook it to the shackle or the d-ring on the machine there uh, or something else you know if I had a snatch block in with a stump something like that so we're gonna be testing this system out today and seeing how well this works it came with a lot of extra wire that was really just unnecessary but I wrapped it all around there bundled it up and really it keeps it pretty nice and contained all I need to do is take off these two wires here and run that to the battery and then I have my remote here which I can unwind as well and stand back while I'm running it Everything's working. This is the remote. All right, so right up here, we have a big aspen tree. It's broken off at the base and the stump is still there, but it's all rotten all the way through. And so they've got it marked here with a pink X, a couple pink X's there. And so you can see how it's all rotten and just kind of jumped off of that stump. So they just don't feel comfortable having this like this because they walk through here and, you know, there's a, it's a high traffic area. So if they want to make sure this gets taken down, it's pretty sketchy, kind of the way it's sitting here. It's just leaning up against this other aspen it looks like here. Um, looks like there's just one branch that comes off at the top up there that is really holding it there. But the idea is going to be to set up a winch system to the bottom of that base of that trunk and just start pulling it this way, right? And pull it over here towards that machine. Uh, now, what I can do, this is a 3,500 pound winch, but... I'll probably use a snatch block here and essentially get double the pulling power. So, you know, my line's going to go up to that tree and I'll wrap around that tree there and there will be a snatch block right on that tree. My wire will then wrap around and I'll come and tie it to this tree here. So it's going to be sort of a triangle, right? From this tree to the tree that I'm pulling back to the machine. And by doing that, it'll give me essentially twice the pulling power just with basic physics and extra leverage that you're getting out of that. You have a extreme mechanical advantage when you add a pulley into the mix. The other thing here, this trail kind of comes down, right? And it wraps around. There's a little bit of a ledge right here and I'm gonna actually use this a little bit to my advantage. This could potentially start to pull my machine that way towards the tree. I don't really want that to happen. So I'm gonna stay below this edge and hopefully that little lip helps keep my machine from being pulled. You know, if this becomes a problem in the future, which either way, I'd actually like to do this. I'd like to add sort of like a spike or some kind of like staking system that comes off of that winch that I can drive into the ground with the loader arms. So like, uh, you know, just traveling around, you'd have to have your loader arms raised up, but then when you come out on site, you can bury like, let's say two stakes that come off of that and maybe they come off to the side and go down and that buries into the dirt and that takes all of the force uh, to prevent it from pulling the machine. And of course, then it'd be easy. You can lift those right back out of the ground, you know, move around, set them right back in and drive them back down. So that's probably coming in the near future.
here's what we have set up. I'm not sure I really love this setup yet. I think I might adjust a few things before I actually run it, but what I don't like is the distance here. I'm gonna actually loosen this up and wrap that strap a few more times around the tree. Uh, and that'll just give us more travel when we start to pull it back. Um, another part of me almost wants to hook up this toe strap here over to that tree there just to help actually pull the tree this way versus pulling it back into that stump because I think it might get bound up a little bit if I go right into that stump. So I'll switch some things around and come back to you in a minute. All right, I've got this rigged up a little bit differently here. So you wouldn't want to take this wire and actually wrap it around this tree because this is a good, good oak. I don't want to hurt this tree. Uh, so that toe strap gives it enough surface area where it's not going to damage it and dig in to the bark. Uh, hopefully it holds up everything. You know, I'm hoping this is uh, all going to be a strong enough setup to actually move that tree. <laughs> and we're going to find out. This is the moment of truth. So we got the line coming from the machine up to the snatch block there. I wrapped it a couple more times around there. And then back here to the toe strap back to the tree so moment of truth right here Exactly what we needed to happen. Moved it just enough, pulled it out the base, and down it came. Everything's still intact, didn't tear anything. Always look up to, you know, make sure there's nothing else dangling or it didn't knock something loose. Never just walk under an area like that without looking first. But Yep, we can now process this up and uh, cut it up for firewood. That was awesome. I know some of y'all say I should have had a rag or something over that line in case that line snapped. Uh, I was hiding behind my machine really well here. So I had my remote ran back here and I'm tucked down behind just barely watching through this uh, through this hole right here. So if it did come and snap, you know, maybe you could argue it could wrap around and hit me, but I didn't feel like it was uh, too big of a danger in this situation. So worked out great.